Ronin. Redo. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Juice in the Morning. I am your host, Justin Juice Kelly. To my left is the uh, best co-host a guy could ask for, Shane Jones. How are you doing today, man? I'm good, man. I appreciate that. I was asking you off the mic if you uh, are a Chicago Cubs fan because you're wearing the Cubs shirt. As much as everyone in this city will hate me, I am not. (laughs) I can wear this to work, which is nice. Instead of wearing a black T-shirt, I'm actually an Atlanta Braves fan. But I do love me some baseball, so... How did your how did your baseball fandom start? Um, well, when I was a kid, I played a lot of baseball. Yeah. So in turn, I watched a lot of baseball. And um, for whatever reason, when I was a kid, Chipper Jones, uh, he has the same last name as me. Oh, yeah. And his first name is Chipper. Did he play for the Braves? <laughs> he did. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and he's a third baseman. And he was out played outfield for a little bit. Nice. But there's Andrew Jones that also played for the Braves. And then just that like 90s crew of badass uh, Braves players like... Yeah, Greg Maddox and you Deion know Sanders. Yeah, I guess he played Atlanta Falcons and Atlanta Braves at the same yeah, time. That's insane. <laughs> I had a poster that was really badass that I wish I still had. It was like Deion Sanders cut right down the middle, and one half was him with his football thing on, the other half that was really cool. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. badass. Well, and then across from me back again is Kevo. How are you doing today, man? Not too bad. I'm uh, I, I'm here. You're recovering, right? <laughs> I am from recovering. A, from a long week. Graduation week uh, is done and it is over. Yeah. Played a little bit too hard the last night and uh, still feeling the after effects today. And little Yay! five is a big thing down in Bloomington. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Way better than the Grand Prix or whatever that shit they got going oh, on at so Purdue. I, I don't understand the Grand Prix. <laughs> like, what is that? I don't know. Is it, is uh, it a like... Rip, a rip off of anything they do yeah. at IU. Just a bunch of fat girls. <laughs> bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of a bunch of jean jackets somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen those like videos on Old Road? Just like yes. there's like an escalator and there's like 17 girls getting off and they all have jean jackets yeah. on. <laughs> it's a uniform. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a an uniform. FFA convention, probably. <laughs> oh yeah. And uh, to the that's right, corduroy, but to the right, the uh, voice you hear is Ryan <laughs> Kelly. How are you doing today, man? I'm um, lovely. Question: Is that to today. is that headband a an old sleeve or? It's an old sleeve. It's the best way to do it. <laughs> then cut it, it off. Is, and, yeah. uh, put it yeah. I love you have and... you have the shortest hair in the room and you have a headband on. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, sweatband. That's like sweatband. the millennial uh, uh, bandana now, right? All is I can think about is? is like that guy's gonna do some kind of cardio later. We're not I, sure. I don't know. It's been around since. Pop this uh, on. You get some mad. <laughs> I just got introduced to uh, what is it the uh, the Zoomies guy? The Zoomies guy. Yeah, yeah, I've never I've uh, never seen it before, and I was Bryce. Like, very Bryce, the Zoomies guy. I think, I think uh, Ryan could Ryan could be our Bryce if you. I mean, that voice you got it on. Uh, oh, saw it, dude. Saw it, dude. Y'all, let's go to Wetzel's Pretzels and get twisted, dude. <laughs> That's great. All right, good start. Here That's we awesome. go. So, so we have quite a few topics today that I'm passing over to Shane. I'm the um, topic guy. You are the topic guy. So, you know, we were on uh, the We Are Libertarians podcast just last week. Yeah. Uh, it comes out on uh, Friday afternoons, Friday mornings. Um, it was a great time. I appreciate uh, Chris Spangle having us out because it was good. It was good to it talk about. It was good, but I've never left anywhere feeling like such an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. I felt I felt dumb, but also I felt like uh, you know it was. It's hard to get your point out there when you we don't follow their their like yeah, libertarian I mean, party. Like they obviously do. he puts a lot of time into the things yeah. that he talks about, and does a lot of reading. So yeah. it's hard to come up against that when I'm just walking in like, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> so yeah. And um, I think I hope it was interesting for his listeners. It was interesting for me. Had a blast, obviously. Yeah. Um, and I'm, o- I, I'm over here like, who's going to be the next Captain America? I don't know. He's going to die. And he's over there like doing politics. So, <laughs> no, they're, they're they're great guys. And then um, is, was it James Neese? Yeah. Is uh, running for, see, I'm terrible, yeah, Congress know. or Senate or something like that. Um, I, but no, he, no. he was also on the episode. It was uh, he's one of those guys that if you were around him, you would not think he was running for office. Like he, really? but he's a very he's very intelligent, smart, well well spoken dude. Yeah. But he's uh, 
definitely uh, part of the, I would say, like the freak crowd. If you ever watched um, or ever read um, Hunter S. Thompson, like yeah. in that kind of genre. So I'm just glad you guys are back and back to, uh, you know, like Zoomy Sky references. <laughs> Dude, versus, there's something about that, that, peak, that, that smart shit. I love talking about the stuff that we talk about. <laughs> But I mean, I enjoy get you know getting out of the box every yeah. once in a while, talking about some things that we know nothing about. Well, and they definitely like he asked us. He was like, you know, I felt like he mentioned during the podcast he felt like he was losing me, but it's not. He was losing me. I was just like, I'm not talking because I'm interested in hearing what yeah. you guys have to say about stuff. It was almost like, like information overload. Yeah, it's like wow. Okay, I got. I by the time he had already brought up a new thing, I was still like trying to figure out the first thing. Yeah, and yeah. thinking about like my my issue is, is I'll think of a I'll think of something and then we like and this happens during this podcast too where we'll like get so far past that subject it's hard to figure out a way to bring it bring it back around all right ryan's fired i was like where is that coming from what is that sound (laughs) but uh yeah that was the facebook live i think that you were on just for a second so if you guys are joining us thank you i appreciate it it's uh, been a blast but we also might start be working like start working on a patreon account or something like that so that the uh live stream will be you know, you have to pay for it. Secret. <laughs> it's secret. That's what they do over at uh, We Are Libertarians. But we so. do want to talk about something that we talked about on We Are Libertarians, mm-hmm. and that is um, the topic of a certain lady who went to prom and wore a Asian-inspired dress. Yeah. Um, we, we talked a lot about this on a very serious matter. I'm sure there'll be a little more jokes. Yeah. But um, it all goes back to, um, what is it, uh, cultural appropriation yeah. and... Basically, a guy online, um, I guess, of Asian descent, got a little upset that this, um, what we would curl, call as a white girl, yeah. basic white girl, maybe wore something that she saw and liked, and, and there's some controversy involved. Yeah. I think he said something like, my my culture isn't your fucking style, or isn't something your, like that. Isn't your goddamn prom dress. Exactly. Now, in his profile picture, this guy's Asian, he's knocking her for cultural appropriation, is he wearing uh, a Thrasher back shirt? The, back to the Zoomies kid. He's wearing a Thrasher shirt. <laughs> Old boy is wearing, he's rocking van shoes. Yeah. Just to, total like skater style, backwards hat. I'm like, bro, you're appropriating my, my culture <laughs> is not your God. Well, I watched um, <laughs> picture. your mom's house the other day, which is uh, Tom Segura and his wife. And they had uh, Bobby Lee on. And Bobby Lee's an Asian guy. And he made a really good point. He's like, look at me right now. I'm wearing Western clothing and, you know, I'm not sitting here in like a gi, you know, yeah. and like wearing what, what I get culturally ap- appropriate for Asians and, while I'm here in the United States or whatever. So I just think it's like and what we talked about, mm-hmm. it's one of those things where people just any time that they can get offended about Vic- anything it's victim mentality. It's yeah. Like, so it's, it's like pathetic. It's like I think there was two people that are like, yeah, or they're like, man. Come on. Mm. Yeah. Who fucking cares? Who cares? Yeah. Well, coming from somebody that is like from a, a different, I guess, culture, how do you feel about it? White people suck. <laughs> if I come here next Look Sunday white. with like a coconut bra on. And <laughs> I don't know. It is what it yeah. is, man. I mean, Mahalo. All right. I mean, I think it's. I always get the question like, do you surf? I'm like, no, dude. I'm fucking terrible at it. Like, do you do that I'm thing where you're like, you like must surf. <laughs> that might be the most racist thing I've had on here so far. And I think I'm actually going to start doing that as I walk around the city you have, of Indianapolis. I feel like you have lighter fluid and like twirling batons on you at some point. <laughs> no? Are they in the car? Or? <laughs> that is how we light ourselves on fire, actually. Yeah. It's never been you wear a bush, right. a, a dry bush on your pants, and then, you, and then you're twirling fire. I've always just thought there's a lot of people who have went to the hospital for that yeah. at some like, point. It's like forgetting Sarah Marshall. He's like, he's like, oh, 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 oh. He's like they're not Native Americans, dude. <laughs> okay, now That's that awesome. we've nobody's, sitting here just cracking up, yeah, at, nobody's a fan of a dry bush. That's true. <laughs> um, so, like my my thought process on it is, you know, a lot of people like, don't want to like be hundred percent like I'm American. Like they they want to be like you know, soft about things. And in my opinion, the reason that we exist as America and the melting pot and all that stuff is because we do appropriate other people's cultures and styles and kind of create them and make them our own in a, in a, in a big conglomerate. Like it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Like that's a good thing. It just seems like another way to divide everyone. If we're in a melt, we live what's called a melting pot. The United States or, you know, is a melting pot. So if you start saying you can't wear this and you can't wear this and that you no longer be, you're just dividing a extremely racially, you know, different, 
community and making everybody dress this way. That, that's not going to happen in America because we're all, it's a melting pot. Right. right. That's why you see white guys with Rasta hats. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. if I see one more black guy wearing a kilt, <laughs> you know, like, shit. your shit. Nobody yeah. get out of here. Like yeah. that, my culture <laughs> is not your goddamn Friday night. If wear. I see one more <laughs> Mexican guy with a Hitler stash, I swear to God, <laughs> done and over. Bastards. Uh, okay. No, but yeah, it's like it's just style. I mean, like she's she was wearing it, and you know, it's kind of it's a compliment to the culture. She's like, oh, I really like exactly. your guys style. Exactly. But like, why are you taking it? It's like it's it like could have been insult. It could have been How taken two ways. You. Like, wow, like someone thinks you know. If our she was making is cool. fun of it, like I, you know, to an extent, I understand like the. Like even like the Halloween costumes, it's like it's it's a little too cringy for me because the amount of uh, uproar there is. Yeah, but I get it, like because it's being it's kind of like being made as a joke. Yeah. Now this wasn't made as a joke. He's a prom dress. No, she, she liked the style. She thought it was beautiful. I agree. She, she was and promoting she looked, she looked her pretty good style. too. Yeah. Oh, dude, <laughs> she is a high schooler. So that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm just saying it would look but good. She I think was a very, and it was very pretty and it was girl. original. And um, somebody on the PTO Unlimited podcast made a really good point. They said she was covered up. And yeah. most dresses nowadays for prom yeah, and stuff, dude. they're trying to like wear a bikini to prom. Basically, it's like the slit all the way up. It's yeah, like, dude, whatever what the they can get with, with, and their dress. whole back showing. It's prom. Chill out. But I think at the end of the day, that um, intentions is plays a big part in this. I think if she, um, you know, had ill intentions, it would have been a lot different. But since she is just yeah, like, yeah, if she was wearing like the sweet D, like that episode of Always Sunny where she's got the teeth. <laughs> yeah. That would have been super messed up. That'd be fucked up. But instead, she's like, like okay. I really enjoy the yeah. way that this dress looks from a specific culture and I decided yeah. to wear it, it was, and you look good in it. You're yeah. not, you know, so let her, you know. Yeah. Somebody had to get angry about it, though, yeah. at some point. So. If she, like, dyed her hair jet black and had, like, the little chopsticks, <laughs> yeah. chopsticks in her, then it's like, okay, this is like... What, I wouldn't what even have been doing? mad at the chopsticks. Had her hair up with some chopstick <laughs> in it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I have no opinion really. I don't. No. It doesn't just, bother me either way. Yeah, it's, I just think it's annoying because it's, it's, it's like it's a bunch. It's like it's too whiny. And what's he was also like, really funny is, outraged is uh, they as soon as uh, anybody does anything like on this on the internet and gets famous, everybody is searching everything that you've ever posted. And he posted some pretty controversial. Oh yeah, and, like uh, hate white people things. So. Yeah. Just don't post. Like, I mean, I kind of want to get famous. I kind of want to go viral in some way, shape, or form at some I point. W- I mean, but sure, but let's not do it I racially. Can't, I can't. <laughs> I just can't wait to see what's going to happen. Like when people dig up all of my past oh, transgressions, God. you're screwed. Yeah, <laughs> you're out. The good thing is, is I think Couple most ones. of it. I think most of it wasn't recorded. So I think that's a good thing. That's good. Moving on. Yeah. All right. Um, I guess we're talking about bucket list items, things that we want to do probably before we die. Yeah. Like that movie with uh, all those great actors like uh, Morgan Freeman, Jack, Jack Nicholson, Nicholson, and some other guy <laughs> that's yeah. less popular than those two guys. So th- th- this is a really... Who is the third guy, please? I think that movie me. was called The Bucket List, right? Yeah, yeah. It was so called The Bucket List. Like, let's yeah. look at the cast. While, while you look that let's, up, let's, I'll, let's I'll, look give you guys, I'll give you guys what made me think of this topic. So... I was sitting there and I was like kind of scrolling through Instagram and I saw a rapper talking on like he was using a wad of cash like a cell phone and that like immediately move. immediately made me think I want that to be added to my bucket list which is to have a picture of myself someday with a wad of cash talking into it like a cell phone. I could do that tonight not right. with hundreds but See, I, that's, I that's have at the saying. end of the night at Scotty's I have a lot of ones and 20s and 10s and maybe a couple hundreds but but I could just put them in a band uh, not a band-aid a rubber, rubber band, band and put them up to my ear and take a picture I guess. Yeah, but that would have to be folded, right? Because they wouldn't be like they wouldn't be like a long ways. Or you could stacked. rob a bank and then you can snap a photo right as the police <laughs> or is like tackling you. you. Pass. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> or two people like me and you both have this like, well, it'd be cool if we took so we could just go and get you get some money, I get some money. If you put the money together, it'd probably yeah. make a brick of money, and go. we could take some pictures and then you think, know go think, put it back in our bank account. I think it's also part of the uh, context of me doing it. Like I have to be able to have that much money as long as you're wearing that tank top when you do it. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is a nice tank top. Have you ever been to St. George brother. Island by chance? Or I have not actually. Oh, is St. George Island? Right. It's in uh, the Panhandle. It's down by... Um, My little brother went there and brought Florida? it back. Yeah, Tallahassee, maybe a little farther down, but I've been there a lot when I was a kid. And it matches my orange sperries, so it's nice. like one you of the... got some orange sperries? Mm-hmm. Are they like leopard print orange? No, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Who was the third guy? Okay, so we were thinking about a different... They have. He has like two of the same movies. Bucket List is just Jack Nicholson and Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Great okay. movie. Oh, but the other one's going that, in style. The British more guy, recent. The British Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Alan Arkin is like the grumpy white guy. He's like, I don't have any money in my pension. <laughs> <laughs> and he teaches a uh, my pension's Sandra all run out. A lady. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you want? I want you to sit down, sit down, and, and cut your steak like this. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a sloppy bitch. <laughs> that's Michael. That's Michael Caine. So, so it's per- and he was also. Um, he what? was Batman's butler. Yeah, so I've already thought of... <laughs> his name is Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's his name? <laughs> and then also he was Austin Powers' dad, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Dad, I forgot about that. Should we shag later or shag? <laughs> I don't even know at this point. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. Gold member. No, insert, already... insert any British old guy and he's probably that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm already coming up with ideas because of uh, the Michael Caine impression, the Zoomy guy impression. Like, <laughs> Can we also talk about how Morgan Freeman's in Batman along with uh, Michael Caine? Weird. Kane. What so, a connection Because he plays like his other Alfred, kind of like the, uh-huh. his like uh, Wayne Tower Alfred. He's yeah. like, does it come in black? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> when he gets the tumbler. What is that What is that guy's name, too, in that? That's uh, But it's Morgan Freeman is his, like, uh, his weapons guy. Yeah, so he's like, he is. works at Wayne Tower, and he has all that stuff yeah. on stock, and he's like, eventually tells him, like, hey, I got all this money, but he's like, obviously you're not using it for that, but I'm still going to help you. And do you remember when, the like, the little Weasley guy's, like, trying to, like, bribe him? And oh, he's like, yeah. He's like, do you really want to bribe somebody that, you know, goes, Lucius out, Fox. In, goes out in the middle of the night Lucius. and beats the crap out of Is it the guy that people? plays Scarecrow? No. No, the, no this guy's, like, some, like, stock trader or whatever. He's yeah. trying to get money out of Batman. But he's, like, the little Weasley guy. Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, I remember that guy. And he's just, like, and Morgan Freeman's like, do you really want to, like, try to blackmail somebody who he, goes out at night and beats the crap out of people? He wasn't in the movie for very long. Okay, good, because I'm just, just like, quick scene. Yeah. yeah. Can we talk about how uh, the way that that ended, I don't want to get too far into this, obviously, right. but Joseph Gordon-Levitt looked like he was about to be some Robin. Dude, yeah, what did. happened to that? They just... Uh, Christian Bale like, probably I was like really looking forward to that. Christian Bale's like, if it you would, don't give me eight billion dollars, I'm not doing the next one. Yeah, <laughs> ben it Affleck would be came in. <laughs> it would so. be very exciting though. Robin's kind of lame. I mean, you it's you got Batman. Like, what were you gonna do a Robin yourself. movie? I agree. I mean, like, yeah, he's like he's a Robin he's like, origin he's movie, like lapdog. Okay, first like, of all, let's talk about his little tiny. Let's talk about yeah. kind of weird. Yeah, in the comic books, but what, <laughs> since when do they take the the straight out of the comic books the way they look Wait, and make it right. into the? No, was he well, becoming was he becoming Robin or like Nighthawk? Isn't that his? See, comic? that would be a cool like transition into right. showing him. And like the first movie would be him, and it shows like his origin story with his family, and they right. were all um, acrobats and all that uh-huh. stuff. They die. He becomes you know I'm sad, and then Batman yeah. finds him, and then. Right. Turn, helps uh, eventually helps him turn into Robin, and then later on he becomes uh, Nighthawk. But there's also like Nightwing, I think. Or Nightwing. Nighthawk. Nighthawk. Is it Nighthawk? I don't know. It's I think one it's of those. Nightwing. I can't remember because okay. it's Batman inspired still. I still think it's Nighthawk. But in Batman versus Superman, they make a reference to Robin's death, like briefly, because yeah. it's, it's like yeah. case and it's like the Robin. I mean, they make yeah, a different Joker canon. kill because Joker killed him, beat him to death with a so crowbar. It was like you see that, and then you're like, well, shit, there goes that movie. Because I mean, what are they gonna do? Yeah, that was a cool part of that though. But the whole the new Batman is in the future when Batman had already been Batman for like ten or fifteen years or something like that. I don't know specifically, but that's why the Robin Robin's already dead and they've already been through all that because I'm pretty sure uh, Robin kills. Or uh, Joker kills Robin with a crowbar, beats him to death. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> speaking but, of like uh, the little bitch that he is. Oh man, I just I love like Teen Titans. Uh, me and my daughter watch that all the time. I think Teen Titans goes I think awesome. Robin is such a badass. Honestly, like the I get the old school like dorky shorts, and he looks like a complete dork. Yeah. But you can make him cool when he's like fighting Slade and doing you know all this stuff. And yeah. well, he was in the one with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And uh, yeah, George. When they all had Lee nipples, was, yeah. And they made him. They tried to make him cool. He was on the crotch rocket. Yeah, but it, they made him an idiot because he kept arguing with like he fell in love with Poison Ivy. Ivy loves me, yeah. okay? You don't get it, man. You don't get it, dude. <laughs> she loves me, and you're jealous. 
That's what it was. <laughs> Anyways, let's yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. I think she gets me more than you do, Batman. <laughs> you were totally right. It's Nightwing. <laughs> He told oh, you, you know wing. things. And didn't he have a brief stint as the Red Hood before he became? No, I Nightwing? think it's. I think it's after. Because there was somebody. I think that's that actually killing people. I think that's two different. Ro- there's like three different Robins. Yeah, there's yeah, like yes. Dick Grayson. I think mm-hmm. is one of them. Um, and then I don't know the other ones' names. There's but one that's actually like Batman's son. That is um, yes. Because I watch. But, I'm I'm big into watching those like cartoon movies. But Batman's son also become or like later on is uh, Batman Beyond. Mm-hmm. And that's his actual son. I think there's one. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> there's too much. But there really is like three different Robins with d- three different oh, stories. Yeah. Like there's right. the original Dick Grayson, I think, who had like his parents were the, the, the trapeze artists. Yeah. And then after that, I'm not really sure how all that pans out. But there's just so much. Let's talk back to bucket list items. I think it'd be, you know, copacetic for all stuff. Copacetic. Pope is athletic. <laughs> the Pope is athletic. The Pope is athletic. Let's all pick one thing that uh, we would have to put on our bucket list, and we'll move on. Oh, no, let's start with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, endless, I already, I already saw him. endless headbands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, all over the wall, bro. Our, our I already said my, my cash. Cap. I already said my cash thing, which is pretty easy. I feel like we could get it done. Yeah. I have a whole list, though. Like I have a pretty long, I got long, a list. extensive list. Yeah. Own a Rolex is one of them, too. A lot of them involve money. Go ahead, Kevo. That's weird, man. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, ride one of those gigantic Zor balls, okay. like down a mountain. So that's like the ones that you're like in the middle of? Yeah, you put water in it and you just go down. That's insane. I don't know if I'd ever, yeah, I, I don't know about the whole living thing afterwards, but yeah, just to ride in it would be amazing. And where would you want to do it? Because I feel like I just I, said I like on the side of a mountain. I know, but like which mountain? <laughs> you gotta pick a mountain. You have to, I feel like you have to. If you, is this you, a volcanic you, mountain or a normal mountain? Are we doing uh, like Rocky Mountains? Are we doing like uh, yeah, I'd Kilimanjaro? Just, just probably, what are we doing here? Yeah, Kilimanjaro. I like that. Yeah, let's go there. Okay, let's good. go to Africa. That's good. I like let's that. Let's rock. Yeah, like that'd be that. fun. Africa, Africa. <laughs> Cool running. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you put the you put the lotion on the baby. You know, I have no idea what you're talking. This about. Africa voice. <laughs> That's your Africa voice. Yeah, not good. Like it. You don't like it. It. Super, no, it's great. Actually, super racist. Like I actually yeah. thought you were from Kenya, right there. Man. Yeah, I didn't. At least I didn't go Black Panther with like the. I don't know what Black Panther says. Like Wakanda my, forever. Yeah, Wakanda forever. All I know is he does this. <laughs> yes, dude. Have yeah, you seen that meme that. where yeah. he's like his eyes are like rolled back in his yeah. head and he's doing? He's like, I'm so tired of fucking doing this. <laughs> yeah. I I love the fact that uh, Chadwick Bosman now thinks that he is the real life Black Panther. He's yeah. awesome he, though. I, he's a great dude. Yeah. But, like everywhere he goes now, he's, he's always definitely yeah. Like he's wearing the outfit. He's just everywhere. He's, he's, cultu- said, he's uh, culturally appropriating Wakanda. The audio is cutting in and out. Oh, uh, well, it happens. Um, what are you going to pick over there, guy? Mm, bucket list item. I don't know. I got like basic bu- bucket list items, like uh, visit uh, Greece, Rome. Yeah, huge history traveling. Of, yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I'm with that. Snowboard in the Swiss Alps. That would be cool. That'd I didn't be know cool. you were a snowboarder. I like to snowboard. It's fun. He likes to shred some gnar. <laughs> shred some gnar. <laughs> yeah, right. Mine would probably be... Fall down a lot. Mine would probably be... Um, Whoever wants to come with me, but let's do the the old Wade Boggs uh, from Always oh, Sunny, yeah. where we try to drink as many <laughs> yeah. beers on a flight as we can, um, <laughs> and then you ride it on your shirt. Yeah. I think that would be fun that and a really fun. funny, good story. Oh, so yeah. maybe for my bachelor party, if we travel to Vegas or do something crazy like that, we could uh, do the Wade Boggs. Yeah, I don't know. That'd how be we, so expensive though. How many like was he supposed to get beers? Down? Well, like I found out you can take the uh, portable little. Many bottles with you through TSA. How many though? They just let you like two hundred. Can I have a bottle? (laughs) Can I bring a bottle of Jack? Just you might be able to. Like it could be equivalent because I don't think there's a limit on. I'm just gonna say if that if I make it through with that bottle of Jack, there's a good chance we're gonna have to stop at some point and like (laughs) land early or turn turn around. They're gonna be like, we're gonna have to turn around, sir. Yeah, you just put it in your uh, toiletries bag because it's three ounces is the most you can have. That's a way better idea than what I was gonna do. I was just gonna put it right up my butt. (laughs) (laughs) You just want to put stuff in your butt. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Yeah. you're not wrong. You can still do. We all know you still want to do that. So go for it. I've been doing one thing. You know. Yeah. Yeah. One, it out. two, so like the three. Jack bottles, like the size of your uh, my Fiji, Fiji bottle, bottle right here. Yeah. Do you think that would fit? That would nothing, nothing for me. 
Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just right in. He just sits on it. With yeah. or without KY. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> hey, I got a joke for you guys. It's, re- it's related. What's the difference between jelly and jam? I don't, I don't know. know. You can't jelly your dick in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you can't jelly that Fiji bottle up <laughs> Shane's ass. That is amazing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. I saw my opportunity. I yeah, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you saw it right there. I, I, have, the this, I, have, this, just... I have this guy at work, and his name is Dave George, and he is literally one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. But... Uh, he, he was like we were just sitting there and this guy that I worked with he doesn't work with us anymore but he was like yeah dude I was a wrestler in high school and Dave George goes yeah wrestling dicks in your ass <laughs> but it was so on the spot and just like immediate that it was like yeah I'm pretty good at wrestling dicks in your ass and then everyone just was like oh <laughs> I wonder how long he's just been hol- like. I know he had that one that. holstered ready right. to go one in the chamber All those, right, those are good bucket list items though mine are pretty easy yeah, I think I just think it'd be funny to do something really like oh, yeah. outrageous. Yeah, I'm I'm a fan of that. Um, Avengers: Infinity War. This is probably going to be a good seventy five minute uh, uh, yeah. conversation. Let's talk. So, Ryan, just, don't just talk. For, yeah, uh, I'm out of here. See you guys later. Just for the listeners, um, go ahead and pause right here. Yeah, and, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. And uh, I will, I'll put something in later to tell you exactly how long we do to talk about this. Well, let's be honest, though. If you haven't seen it by now. No, I think it's important to, just to say spoiler alert. Yep. And then after that, I don't, yeah, I don't think. Skip through. Yeah, let's just. If you need to. I mean, if you hear, if you hear more Infinity talk as you fast forward, then I don't know what to tell you. Yep. So Spider-Man, he comes through and Star-Lord is like, what's up, bro? <laughs> and then Wolverine comes out of nowhere. <laughs> and yeah. he's like... He picks a fight with... Uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Black Panther. Black Panther, yeah. yeah. Black Panther. I just like, want to talk about... As I was walking... <laughs> as I was walking out of the theater, this dad was walking with his kids, and I didn't know how to feel about this because, like, I don't know... Like, I just judged him so hard, and this is probably going to be my judgment day, so I won't go later. Yeah. But um, he goes... Oh, you, uh, you think Superman will be in the next one, or the guy said that? To and his it kid? just like I just, oh, man, come Ooh, on! That really bummed me out. And then like, at that's the, just terrible for that. Kid, and there's a little right? scene at the end that shows the God. the. Sh- I thought dads were supposed to be role models. <laughs> like what the fuck? And you know the little Captain Marvel thing that they show at the end, the yeah. little spoiler. Well, um, he was like, yeah, they showed some kind of symbol, and you think that's like you know Superman coming back? And I just was like, good lord! I wanted to like be like. Sir, and like, you don't teach your kids that shit. All right. How about if he was doing it just to mess with the kids? He uh, might have been. Like, I mean, that, I that sounds like, like a God, Yeah, he could have. Like, that's something my dad would do. Right, me. exactly. And like, try, just try to piss me off. Yeah. No, that's not. <laughs> I do that. I do that. What? What? Superman, right? Constantly Superman, right? with my kid, dude. Yeah. Like, anything. That's like a that good that point. But he said it so sincerely and seriously, yeah. and I was just like. Well, it worked Damn on you, it worked on Chain for sure. Yeah, I, I, he, he ruined my whole drive home. <laughs> that was shitty. But let's talk about um, some deaths, maybe. Yeah, I don't I mean, know. The, the end it was, uh, it was, it was interesting because I've never been in a movie theater where at the end people were like, like they didn't know if they should yeah, clap. No one did that when I was, it was there because it was good. But then they also were like completely silent at the same time. Yeah, a lot of people fucking died. Yeah, um, it's safe to say that I'm. Pretty sure that anyone that got um, the old snap of the finger death, um, the you know, or they're just like incinerated or whatever, mm-hmm. like just you know, whatever. What, what, what There's would you call lots that? of theories, um, but yeah, def- definitely just turned to ashes basically. But you could, it's safe to say that um, at least you know, Black Panther's coming back, um, Spider Man's coming back, Guardians. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the it's the point that I made to somebody that I was talking to when I was done watching the movie, which is. It, it almost makes me wish that we lived in a time that we didn't have access to all the films and like knowing that there's you know sequels coming because they yeah. already signed contracts because that ending would have like hit hard like a yeah. lot harder if I. But didn't there are know. people out there like that guy that said the thing about Superman that probably don't realize that yeah. those people are going to come back and he just thinks he watched a movie that was like, dude, just everyone just died. Yeah, but so, um, there are people in the movie that are not coming back. I'm pretty sure of, and that's people like Loki. Um, he, such a brutal but awesome opening and and it was cool that he finally like you know stood up for I'm an Asgardian and like my mm. my father was this and like kind of 
own the whole because all the other movies you've been like I'm not the you know I'm not that's not my dad and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. So it was nice to see him actually right. He had some honor and he he did the right thing and and got um, Hulk to Earth so he could warn the Avengers yeah. that um, Thanos is coming. What's Idris Elba's uh, character? Hemlock. Heimdall. 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 Yeah. yeah. Damn it! I'm gonna stop listening to you. Why do I listen to you? <laughs> That's probably a good choice. <laughs> Just with pronunciation. I got the first words, part right. right. Him. Yeah. Yeah. Know, him. yeah. He's not coming back. No, he's for dead. sure. Yeah. He got, he got um, stabbed through the heart. Well, it says stories like my best friend died, my sister's dead, my dad's dead, my brother's dead. Mm. So it was cool seeing him um, start restart the. The um, what was that called? Like the shit, I don't remember. It's like the forge or yeah, something. Yeah, it was like cool that. though. Like yeah. he's like taking on the power of a star. Yeah, he was like a bat. Uh, <laughs> Thor mean, was that, a real badass in this one, especially the, when he came down and started just fucking everybody up. Waste to everybody. Yeah, I think they made him like uh, extra powerful, and I think that's a cool thing. But it's also one of those things that's like. They, they have a really weird way of, I feel like, people's power levels being Changes. Like completely wildly different from movie to movie. Exactly. Because in Ragnarok, he was like getting his ass beat the whole time. Yeah. And right. then in this one, out of nowhere, he's just fucking everybody up. Yeah. So that was kind of strange to me. Yeah, he got his ass. He, all right. So he got his ass kicked in the first uh, yep. few. Yeah, the by first, Thanos. First film. Oh, and yeah. Well, yeah, that yeah. too. Oh, you mean the first part or the yeah, first, first film? Part. Yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah. But they didn't really show that fight, which I think is like, I wish I would have seen that. I thought it was cool to see Thanos and the Hulk like just trading punches. Yeah, that, that was, was cool to me. Sweet. And like seeing actually the Hulk being hit by something that actually like affects him yeah, and hurts him. him up. I yeah. just, I just like the way that this movie was laid out. Like I felt like I was watching different movies. Mm-hmm. Like it seemed like they, because there's like three different storylines. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. They broke the movie up in like 25 minute segments and yeah. then blended it all together. It was like uh, right. Spider-Man. Um, Iron Man off doing their own thing. Right, it was like Thor. It first started off as like a Thor continuation of Ragnarok. Yeah, then it went to yep. a Guardians movie, and then the Iron Man movie, then a Guardians movie. I thought it was so badass when um, they were in um, uh, Ireland or whatever. I can't mm-hmm. remember what or yeah. And the train is going by, and then you see yeah. Captain America for the first time. Dude, and you're people, like, oh, the, the crowd fuck. went crazy. And what I love because he's my favorite character. I loved it. Like I was like, yeah, like and I was like well, along with the crowd. And Jen looked at me and was like. Why is somebody everybody so excited about Captain America? Like he's not even the coolest one, and I just like was like, shut up, let me enjoy this. <laughs> shut up, you bitch. Because <laughs> he is my favorite character, and that's the other thing. I had fully prepared myself for him to die. Like in this film, I think that's what they did. Is they knew and, that they thought people were gonna, you yeah, know, because that was happen, and but. and also from like the comics, like the fact that. Uh, Captain America does die, and then Bucky takes over being Captain America. I'm kind of shitty when Bucky died and he ex- like fell apart that his arm didn't just, just like fall off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then Rocky just comes and just takes it. Yeah, because yeah, he wanted it. Yeah. That should have happened. Yeah, that would have like, been like good. Beats people with it. <laughs> <laughs> I could see Rocky doing that. No, that was. Uh, but it was just it was a, it was very exciting. Um, you know, people are coming back. We know some are going to be gone. Um, I just I just can't wait to see what happens. Like I, I feel like they do such a great job of keeping us entertained. So what's your theory? Who who dies? Who comes back? I honestly think that everybody that disappeared has a potential to come back. Because I think I think I've heard two things that Ant Man is the key to all this, and I also heard, and I think that this one's probably more likely, is that Doctor Strange is the one that's going to make everybody come back because he did that whole thing where he was like thinking of all the 14 million something yep. possibilities right. and only one of them they win and he's going to do some kind of spell or something that makes everyone come back. I think that's a pretty good and I think that everyone like he said that didn't get disintegrated is going to be dead forever. How about if the people who got this disintegrated are actually the people who lived? That's what that's what because the theory that's I've, what heard, I've heard that theory too. The people that did, got disintegrated the are people. actually in a different like oh, as universe, right. and yeah, yeah. then the others are in a different universe. They were really the ones who disintegrated. Yeah, that's why none of them have uh, contracts to a second or. Did third any movie. of you feel kind of for Thanos at any point? I did actually, to be honest. Like when like he a, was with his daughter, like in Gamora, throwing her off the. Because cliff. you, because he, it's almost like he th- he believes so much about what he thinks and what he's doing that like. It's almost like he's insane, and he he just thinks that that that's what's right. Right? No, I totally sympathized with him. I was like, okay, like this movie is really about Thanos. Yeah, yeah. and, and at the end, else, yeah. and at the end when he's in like on Titan or wherever he is, and he he he's in that little thing, and he sits down, and he's like 
You know, I Done. just I, I right. did it. Mm-hmm. Sunny, and because he, he talks about it earlier, he's like, well, I, you know, I can't. He's like, what are you gonna do after you do this? And he's right. like, I'm just gonna like rest, right? Because I've been trying to get you know this done Dude, this for so really long. He truly believes that it has there has to be some sort of balance. But he is very evil in a yeah. lot of respects, and like you know, torturing his daughters, especially Nebula. Right, messing that was, with her. That was rough. Hey, he doesn't give a shit about her. Yeah, yeah. He's, like, he's made that like replacing all her body parts with robot parts and all mm-hmm. that stuff. So he's made that clear. See, I think she's going to be a huge part. In part well, two. in the in the in the comic books, she's, she's the, the one that who, takes the gauntlet yeah. from his arm. Oh, really? Yeah, and she's she needs something good to happen because she's been trying to kill that dude forever. She's smoking <laughs> too, like in real life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> smoking. Yeah, uh, she was the chick off Jumanji. I didn't realize. Oh that. wow, I didn't either. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, the, just the pretty girl in Jumanji. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. What character is it? Uh, <laughs> Nebula. Uh, no. And there's there's not much else I can really say for it besides that if you haven't seen it, I, you may have gotten it ruined by listening to this. But I don't really think it ruined it. You could still go see it and be and we very also entertained. Gave you a warning. Yeah. So. We did. No, I know. I'm just saying that. Go see it anyways. Yeah. Definitely go see it. Um. We we'll do some trivia. Yeah. Let's do it. About that time, eh, Jap? Yep. Okay. It's time for trivia. Can you stop the juice? Can nobody stop the juice? So tell me, baby, what's the use? That's it. It's done. Over. It's <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I like that a lot. <laughs> stop the juice. <laughs> so, so, baby, tell me uh, what's the use. So, the, the idea behind this segment was that I'm going to, they're going to ask me questions and, or ask, how are we going to, my plan was to do it where we would compete. So, Basically, I was going to have Kevo ask questions between us three and see who's going to get the right answer. Okay. I like that. Nice. Yeah. So you need to get a piece of paper to him so that we can write down our answers, and that way we're not cheating off of each other. Okay. So, like, is it like a Jeopardy thing? Like, are you guys going to beat on the table before? I think let's do it, like, in the Ding. terms of um, Final Jeopardy, where we all have an answer, and yeah. then we go from each okay. person, and then we could even base it out of, like, a certain amount of points, and then go from there. Uh, but I think... Who best gets way, the most out of or five? Or best out of five. Sure. Yeah, yeah, out yeah, of yeah, five. yeah, yep. Okay. I don't have anything to write with. I've got a Final Jeopardy question. Sucks. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we could have been more prepared. No, you're all right. That's cool. <laughs> we'll, we'll edit it out. All or right. not. It's authentic. Yeah. All right. It's okay. You guys ready? Yeah. Yes. All right. Question number one. On what river did a pilot named Sully make an emergency landing in 2009? I don't need to write. <laughs> do you know that? I do, yeah. 100%. 100%. See, I, see you're definitely one. beating me on that one. one. Wow. Because um, I didn't ever actually watch that film. I may not be able to pronounce it, but I can uh, throw down some facts. Mm. I'm still waiting for him. Yeah. For juice. Yeah. Is this kind of a trick question? Because good no. thing, good thing Shane and I are included in this. <laughs> <laughs> <That's good>. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very famous river. river <laughs> <history>. <laughs> well, I'm going to show my. Uh, you lost Ignorance. the first question, All right, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Answer. Hudson. Ah, oh, Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> I wow. knew it was wrong, but that's the only river I could think the of. The Mississippi does not flow anywhere close to New York, sir. You have Nelly in you still. Um, Hud- <laughs> Hudson, Hudson, but it's actually Hudson Bay. So the thing with river, that's why I asked if it was a trick question because it's Hudson Bay. Was I it guess Hudson it's part Bay? Of the, it wasn't the river? It was part of the ri- Hudson it was River. Actually, Hudson it, was, Bay. it was on the Hudson River. But okay, so the, let's give a point. Bay. Let's give a yeah. point to so, Ryan because I would have been wrong. Suck yep. it. <laughs> suck, suck it. it. Saw, dude. <laughs> let's get twisted. <laughs> let's get twisted on some trivia, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. What film series stars Thunder Buddy, Seth MacFarlane, and Mark Wahlberg? Ryan's like, I got this fucking in the bag, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that movie every day, dude. I'll go first this time. It's Ted. Ted, one and two. Ted. Ted. Okay. Ted's we right. all got a point yeah. there. So I, w- I was hoping that I could get like a right. half a point for the fact that no. I said both of them. No. See, you're just not, not being cool. Mm-hmm. You can't just right. make up rules as we go. Oh, I can. <laughs> so do I got this right. It's two, one, one. Yep. Okay. Number three, we need to get like a trophy. Like, what's the person win who gets this correct? Like, can we get like a bowling trophy or something? We're we're gonna do we're gonna do something. I'm gonna think more into it, and make it make it better. All right, 
That's what we do. That's what we do at this podcast. Is like I come up with an idea, we do it for a while, and figure out how to make it more more entertaining. Yeah, it's, We're kind of like Samsung and the fighting with Apple because Apple comes out with stuff that they've stolen ideas from other people and made them better. Samsung comes out with the new original ideas first. That's true. And then they get better. That's true. We're just, right. we're just pissing in the wind. Yep. You ready for this? <laughs> Number three. What is the name of the biggest moon that orbits Saturn? <laughs> I'm taking astrology next year. <laughs> what if I was like Googling this shit? You guys know this? How the hell do you have 20 points? <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I said Uranus. That's a planet. Ooh, that's a planet. Dude. I know. Well, it's not really technically a planet. I just wanted to say Uranus. <laughs> exactly. Um, Nebula. That's what I'm going to say, too. Nebula? Yeah. Ne- Titan. Oh, wow. Oh, that's why. Oh, that's why. Fuck that's, you. Yeah. Oh, you, that's where Thanos is from. Right. Yeah, damn. Boom. I didn't know it was real. Yeah. Good, good question. Hey, great mind. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Did we get a half a point for her being his daughter? I don't know. <laughs> we, out, we outnumber him, so we can we can ch- totally challenge this. <laughs> Actually, no, it's Nebula. <laughs> 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 He's the guy that looks stuff up. He's like, yeah, yep. turns out yep. it's uh, Nebula. Nebula. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number four. So we're still two, one, one. Yep. Orville Wright is the name of one of the Wright brothers that helped pioneer the airplane. What is the first name of the other Wright brother? Okay. I have to go first, don't I? You do have to go first. I'm going to go with... uh, I know this, man. (laughs) I don't know this. Again, Um, Again, the guess. This is all guessing for me. I'm wrong, but I'm going to go with Wayne. Eric. Eric? <laughs> <laughs> I said James. Wilbur. Oh. Wilbur. Wilbur. Will. What did there you was say, like what, a, there's you like say, a what did you say the window other one's name was? Our history what? where. What did you say the other one's name was? Orville. What's See, with the weird? Names? All I could think of, all <laughs> like I could think of is that period, little Wayne lyric was like Orville oh, Redenbacher. <laughs> what are you talking about? Popcorn. Red, I know. I was waiting for an Orville Redenbacher. You know he's from Indiana. <laughs> Is it right? So is Michael it Jackson. Is. Orvin Redenbuckle. <laughs> and uh, also, Encino Man, Brendan Fraser. Is oh, my God. And I just saw on Facebook what that uh, him, 20 dude? years ago, The Mummy was released this He was week. such a good-looking dude, and now he just looks like he's sick. I, I feel like he pissed off somebody. He did too Hollywood. much blow with Pauly Shore. And he definitely Encino did. His hair's falling out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the... Last question. <laughs> Who was the first father and son duo to hit back-to-back home runs in a single major league baseball game. First. I got it. Do you really? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I'll go first. Hold on. You can't go first. Hold on. Hold on. on, on, on. Nope. Five. Four. (laughs) I've got my... You made me go about Orville and whatever real quick, so go. Orville and Baca. Go. (laughs) King Griffey and King Griffey Jr. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) Yeah. I got one. There's only two that it could have been. It's either uh, Ripken... Cal Ripken and his son, I think, or and or, but it's definitely Griffey. But uh, Ryan, to, uh, Ryan, took huh? Ryan took this one. Ryan took this one. He did. I did. Yep. I'm gonna I go do. with uh, ninety-eight. Can we do Final Jeopardy? Hey, and be like, hey, ninety-two. Yeah. All the points in one pot. Oh yeah, right. do that. Do that for Can we sure. Guess? Yeah, let's it's do that. For all the butter. No bullshit question though. That Orville, Red, <laughs> Orville, uh, right? Orville bullshit. Right. That was a bullshit question. <laughs> Who knows the other guy's name? Like, totally <laughs> fucking made fuck's that one wrong up. with you? <laughs> there's, there's no way you knew that it's Orville only, was one like, of them. Mad props to those two. It's only like the, it's only the Godfather's <laughs> of flight. I don't, give a, I don't give a fuck what your brother's name yeah. is. I'm just glad you invented you, it. If you would have done the other, you one, if you would have done Wilbur, and then what's the other one? I would have got it right. 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 Everyone yeah. now knows. Can say that brother now. number no. two. Yeah. <laughs> Word on the street was like Wilbur the wasn't all there. <laughs> Poor Wilbur. <laughs> oh, Will there. <laughs> all right, you guys ready? Yep, ready. Rounded to the nearest tower. Oh fuck, I'm losing. Oh, so I, I I won technically. This is just play around, right? <laughs> right, right <sorry. laughs> Rounded to the nearest tower. How long was man's longest time on the lunar surface? What the fuck, dude? Rounded to the the long too the, much. The nearest hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gonna, so it's just a straight one, uh, one numeral. Could so be. when you say lunar surface, right? So how long were they there? Not necessarily outside of the thing, but I don't know. No, no, how long were their feet touching? Oh, okay, the ground. okay, okay. 
So what is a lunar circle? <laughs> I'm just going to go with three. It's a good number. I'm going one. Two. 75 hours. <laughs> I was closest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't go over. Oh, <laughs> Almost oh. three days. I was closest. Yeah. What were they doing oh. on three days? It's like, doo, 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 like bouncing Hitting around. Balls and, and driving around a car. I guess. Well, change, change my answer. That is my new bucket list. They weren't I even want to drive the around. Moon. They weren't even there. On the lunar moon. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. They weren't even there. So let's get rid of them. They were never there. How much time did it take to film a fake moon yeah. landing? 75 hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it sounds like I, I have to like make a winner sound effects. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, some zoom. and uh, we will uh, we'll come back <laughs> to this <laughs> and we'll do this we'll do this again. Um, clearly we're going to have to change this to Just take the sound nobody, clip. Ain't from, nobody can stop Shane or Ryan cuz I answered one correctly. Somebody take the thing from um, what's the with the where are you, damn I'm, it. I'm actually counting uh, Shane's first point. I think it's a tie between Hudson, Ryan and yeah. Shane. Yeah, yeah. 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 definitely cool. got a tie. I knew it was what Hudson. first point? Because there's probably the a uh, he said Hudson Bay. <laughs> there's probably a river, okay. and then off to the side is a bay. <laughs> we got to play with integrity, guys. Come on. <laughs> Technically, there's he no, there's I, no I think integrity. Pretty pretty sure he on Just the river, do the but. ending to this to any sound of like someone in the Roman Empire, like in the Colosseum, like going like this and going. <sighs> I'll like do everybody. it for I'll do it for yours, and then we'll have a, like a different winter thing for Ryan. It'll be we'll, like, we'll only be hearing theirs because like clearly I'm not going to win. I actually want a funny no, clip. I'm gonna, from... I'm gonna do the Zoomies guy. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> I get some mad <laughs> <W's. laughs> Mad W's get twisted on some trivia, dude. <laughs> All right, well I'll go ahead and say that was a, a pretty successful first trivia. It was, yeah, it was a rough start, but we got it. We got in there and we got it done. And you know, we're going to do it again. I don't know. I realize uh, that I don't know a lot about trivia, and I always thought I was good at it. I don't know why I thought I was good at it. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm pretty good at trivia, I think, I especially when it comes to then, movies and uh, TV and that kind of stuff, and or baseball, you know, not necessarily sports all the way around, but um, anyways, Judgment Day, let's do that. You want to do a little yeah, Judgment I have to, I have Day? A, I have to have a very specific topic with trivia, and apparently I'm... I'm not gotten that recently. I don't know. That trivia we went to was pretty fun, though. Yeah. We did well. Yeah, I'm down for some trivia, bar trivia. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's yeah. decent. All right. Oop. Oop. Bip. 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 <laughs> so what about our questions we came up for, for with uh, to try to school you on some trivia? Did we have questions? That was it. No, that was... He, he came with the questions, and I don't, I don't... I think he was the only one who brought questions. Shane, did you Oh, I had question? a question. Well, if okay. we do, I didn't know how we were going to do that. All right, so what's your question? Okay, I'm going to try to stump you. All right. Make some stumps you. What, what face is on the $2 bill? Whose face is on the $2 bill? $2 <laughs> bill. You go ahead no. and say it. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't know. Thomas Jefferson. It is Thomas Jefferson. Ah, oh, see? All right, I feel stupid. I'm done doing trivia. Yeah, whenever, you would have you would That would have been an embarrassing All right, here, here's mine. segment. Here's mine. In Infinity War... What is the name of the group of people that helped Thanos? That was like his henchmen people. The Black Order? No, it was the Children of Thanos. Children of Thanos? What was it? I mean, you might be, it might be just another. I think you're, but I know it's the Dark Order. Wow. Okay, well, I was close. <laughs> it might be. Now, now you got me thinking it's the Black Order. <laughs> I thought it was the Dark Order. Uh, the Dark Children. Right, go ahead and look it up. And I want to tell you guys about my experience at Top Golf. It's time for Judgment Day. This is the part of the podcast where Juice and Shane judge the notorious idiots that surround us all. It's important to note that one of the guys doing the judging once shot himself in the dick. It's the Juice in the Morning with Shane podcast. Who do we have today, guys? Listen now. All right, so no. I went to Top Lisa, Golf no. yesterday, and you know I want to just go out of my way and say Top Golf does a great job. So if anybody listening from Top Golf, we're not we're not talking poorly about you. You're gonna get sued. Um, I'm talking about the service that you guys have had the last two times I've been. Um, I just want to let you guys know that you know the the experience was not optimal. I would say it was not great. Um, so we had a, uh, a a woman come to our table, and she. Okay, so let me go all the way to the beginning. First of all, I get there. Everybody's kind of already there. We were a little bit late. Um, while we were, while I was sitting there getting everything ready, I was like, oh, there will be a server around eventually. You know, I, I'll get the game started, get everybody like rolling on hitting some golf balls. 
didn't see her for about 35 minutes, so I understand it's busy. It's a Saturday. There's a lot going on. Um, but she finally did come to our table, got us our drinks, um, checked on us about three more times within a two or three minute period, and then would disappear again for another 30, 35 minutes. So A, she was off on her timing. You don't just like check a bunch of times like, hey, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Good. I'm doing great. And then like come back another couple minutes later. Hey, you guys still doing okay? Yeah, we're doing okay. You just brought us our drinks. Like I didn't, I'm not that much of an alcoholic mm-hmm. that I finished my drink in the last 30 seconds that you were here um, or weren't here. <clears throat> so she did that. And then at the very end, she did what has happened twice now with Top Golf, which is, I don't know if they're training their servers this way or what, but at the end, she had her tablet with all of our, uh, everything that we ordered. And she didn't have it all broken up into tables, which what's weird about it is other times I've been there, she, they've had it broken up. So it's like been separated. So it's, it's clearly easy to do, or it's something that other people do. Um, so then she, she kind of got an attitude with us though, and said, you know, the first person here told me you guys were all going to be on one bill. And I was like, first of all, none of us would have done that. The person that got there first, it was his birthday. So I don't think he expected to pay for everybody else's um, event at his own birthday. And then um, from then on, uh, she just kind of like, you know, kept screwing it up, kept screwing it up. The manager came. Then the manager was even a pain in the ass because he was like, well, you guys had more people than you were supposed to have here. So it kind of makes things difficult. And it was just one of those things that I've had. A, I, I, I think I'm judging them because whenever I've been in the service industry or been in a position where I've had bad service, the people are very um, accommodating, very, very friendly to you because they don't want you to like, have a bad experience. And I was just kind of frustrated with the attitudes. Like, they were the ones in the wrong, I feel like. Yeah. Don't have an attitude if you're wrong. I'd have to agree. And Even, there's a lot of stupid people that have attitudes when they're wrong, and it pisses me off. That's also when, I mean, the customer's always right, and as, as stupid as that phrase sounds, is it's pretty true. You're not going to get anything from... I learned that very on as a... Uh, very early on as a server I once told this lady that I was like no this is what you ordered she's like no I ordered this and she got real shitty about it and so I could have avoided all of that by saying okay well I'll go ahead and get you what you want you know this mm-hmm. instead because it just avoided all of that uh, intensity and her getting kind of like a little crazy on me so I could you know I just went and from now from that point on I just go get people what they want fast as I can as opposed to arguing with them because it's not going to do any good you're not going to convince somebody that you got you know, that they told you the wrong thing, even though you're for sure that they did. Right. So just get them what they want. Um, it, and and the, the thing that I also wanted to add to it was it seemed like she was trying to, like, because we had a group of people leave earlier. So, like, I think that they didn't necessarily get everything on their bill that they ordered. And I think she was, like, trying to sneak the stuff on that they didn't pay for onto other people's bills because we were telling her, like, she asked us what we had and was like clicking it over onto like our checks or whatever while we were standing there right next to her. And then she brought us all of our itemized checks after we all paid and said, yeah, everything on there should be accurate. And then two other people had like a beer here, a beer there and a beer there that were all three beers that should have been with the group that left earlier. Yeah. And I, I think, think a lot so. of times when you can convince your manager that you've done nothing wrong as well, yeah. then they're also like, it gives you the advantage to be a little more snippy because you got your manager on your side. Right. So I feel like maybe that they had, you know, the manager said was being kind of a dick too. Mm. Um, so maybe at that point she had already been like, okay, I'm good because so, but as long like that's the convincing I do is like, I'm convincing my manager that I didn't really do anything wrong. Right. So that, you know, I can come off as like, you know, I, okay, I'm good because my manager and me are, are on the same page. But it, anytime when my manager's been like, no, you're fucking up right now, then that's when you got to be like, oh, I'm so sorry and make up for everything. So I'm just And to, to finish it out, she told like somehow once again in those like little bursts of like her checking on us and like, you know, three, you know, three times in like three minutes. She was talking to me and she was like, yeah, we had the whole Pacers team here the other day and I was serving them and they were really mean to me. And I was and I was like, man, maybe it's because you're not very fucking good at what you're doing. So yeah. that's probably why they're mean, not because the Pacers are mean spirited individuals. Yeah. And there's I mean, obviously some people that have no business being in the service industry. Right. I mean, there really is as easy yeah. as a job is. 
Um, you can learn how to do it even if like I when I first started I had never done it before mm -hmm. and you know was decent at it out the gate and now I'm, I like to consider myself pretty good at it but like there's some people that like they're, they're just not it's just not gonna happen they're just they don't they don't know how to um, you know multitask they don't know how to you know talk to people and be like you know nice I guess yeah. so and just and just efficient that's yeah. all you need to be. That, that would be the word to sum up everything at one so, time is being efficient. So well, here's here's my question. I, I've never been a server before. So what happens to the food? So you're you probably a back? shitty tipper then, yeah, aren't you? I'm okay, actually, because I know. <laughs> Anyone that's never been a server is usually a shitty tipper. I try to tip at least 20%. Okay, you're good. Because then. I figured, you know what, if people are. You probably know people, too. Yeah. What? You probably know people oh, that know are people like in serve. the service yeah. industry. Yeah. I'm just you just got to be mindful that their uh, wage that they're getting paid is probably like. You know, Mine's uh, fifteen. Yeah, yeah, no, I yeah. totally, I totally get that. Like, I delivered pizzas for a little mm. bit, you know. Yeah. It's the exact same so, similar. Yeah. Tip. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So that would, I would consider that service or service yeah, type job. But so, what happens when you uh, return something because you don't like it? You, it, we one hundred percent do not eat it. Um, as long as I, the only exception to that is if it didn't hit the table. If I walk up and it's in my hand and I'm like. Uh, that's not mine. Yeah, then I take that back and we <laughs> gobbled that shit down. Right. Um, th if I put it on the table and you touch it at all, it gets thrown away. Um, and that's just me. I don't know what other people do when it's been touched or something. They might go put it on the table and say, this was, you know, mess up. You know, uh, National Geographic, like the scene of like the lions eating the zebra. <laughs> that's what happens. Go in into a fucking restaurant kitchen when <laughs> something gets sent back that's that's free, that, that no one's like the guest hasn't touched it. I'm a germaphobe, so I have to get there early and get my little oh, dude, part of it because. Frenzy over by dish by the trash can. Anyone that works in the service center knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everyone's just like, and people are walking by and they see it, like, no, oh, is that good? Is that for us, yeah. <laughs> Fucking just go my, after it. My that's judgment wild, day is when wild. that. My judgment day is when that food comes back, and I have servers at my work, and say it's like a uh, something you touch, like dill chips or something, or chips. Yeah, if the guest touches it, then no. No, trash. I'm talking about He's my talking about my judgment coworkers. is for like them grabbing one, deciding that they don't want that one, and then moving on to another one, and, oh, and I'll just yeah. call you. I'll be like, "What the fuck did you just touch that <laughs> for?" Like now, someone has to eat that. I, I yeah. saw a girl like. Um, like it was a dip and she put her finger in it. Gross. And I'm like, See, were you uh, born in a barn? But, but say someone eats it and they don't like it. They, do Can no, you order third. like another thing and not get charged for the first? Yeah. So it's all, a lot of times it's based solely off of how angry the person is. Yeah. yeah. Um, if it's wrong, you automatically get them the right thing, period. And they, mm -hmm. but if, depending on how long it takes it to come out, um, that's really big. The next thing to come out, if it comes out really fast and they don't really have anything to complain about, they had to wait like three minutes. That's yeah. fine. But if they have to wait like fifteen minutes, then they probably will give you your food free and also take off the uh, the cost of the the thing. Nice. That's why this manager at Top Golf that you guys had must have just been completely checked out. It's like fuck this, I don't want to do this anymore, yeah. or just didn't go through any training, right? Because right. the whole job of the manager at a restaurant is making sure all the guests leave happy. Right. So they yeah. come back and you make more money. Dude, I have managers. You don't, you don't argue with them because then you're going to be, you're going to piss them and, off and you're and like, oh, fuck we, you, see you later. Right. You know, like, no, that's not how it works. So it's like if, if, if they uh, get queso and the queso comes out and you, and it just came straight out, you know it's hot. It's not cold. <laughs> right. And they're like, it's a little too cold. You got to take it been, back. There's been, exactly. You know, there's you been, there's been, exactly. There's been so many times at my place say they get a wrap and they say no tomatoes. I'll put no tomatoes and then it'll come out with tomatoes on it, and I'll still get in trouble. Yeah, it makes zero yeah. sense. So wait, you get in trouble and not the cook? Well, they're so busy that they're like, you must have just and I'll and they're Kitchen not. Never gets and, in trouble. and they're not gonna. They're, <laughs> they're not gonna like. I'll sometimes. I'll, sometimes I'll be like, come over here and look. I, I says no tomatoes, and right. I've gotten to the point where I get petty and kind of shitty that they're mad at me. I'll yeah. print the ticket off and be like, look. No tomatoes. And then they're like, Jenga tomatoes, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. So, so it really is a double standard with the cooks, though, because the cooks, I'm pretty sure, hate all of the servers. Oh, and that. when we mess up, they're like, oh, God. But when they when they mess up, nobody yeah. says a word. Yeah. It's somehow our, our fault again. Yeah. Uh, Either like, our, our fault or it is, there's nothing said about this, it. This happened. This is a cardinal sin. So the lady friend is a vegetarian. We went somewhere and she asked for her, like, a pizza or something with meat. It came out with, meat, meat, out with mm -hmm. meat and she didn't know and it was in her mouth oh, and so she had man. me take a oh, bite no. and I was like that's that's definitely sausage yeah. like that tastes like sausage but I think just something to keep in mind that it really is not always the server's fault all you can do is ring it in the way that you think is correct and then hope that it comes out the way that you rung it in because I can tell you 
hundreds of times where I rang the right thing in and the right thing did not come out or it came out, you know, late or it's been sitting in the window. And same with the bartenders. No, if I'm sure you're pretty quick on the well or whatever, but I hate when I order a beer immediately and they have to wait 10 minutes for it because I cannot give this beer to you until it's at the well, until it's sitting there for me to deliver. Mm-hmm. I can't, and I'm just, I'll just tell my tables, I'm like, hey, uh, the well's a little bit behind tonight. Um, as soon as that beer pops up on the well, I'll have it to you. Yeah. Well, and that's all you got to do. Yeah. Some servers don't understand that. Yeah. No, they'll just be <laughs> like, just tell your tell your guests because I was a server before I was bartender. That's all you have to do. Yeah. Hey, bar's a little backed up. Just you know. Yeah. Most right. people have patience, and if they don't have patience, fuck them. Well, I've had I've had I know other servers that have blamed the well on the fact that their drink has been sitting at the well. See, there's like, and from my perspective, yeah, there are some shitty servers. You'll sit there and like, we have like mics on. Yeah. And I'll be like, um, so and so's drinks are fucking dying up yeah, here. Yeah, it's like yeah. frozen margarita, and it's all liquid now. Yeah. I've seen because someone who are, could see the well and knew that their yeah, drink was like, sitting there, and they're like, yeah, the, I'm sorry, it took yeah. so long. The well, and they're like, actually, I saw my beer sitting, sitting there, there and time. she got in a whole yeah. bunch of trouble. Yeah. And she felt yeah. stupid awkward. as shit. That is. The oh, that worst. was yours, wasn't it? Oops. The bottom line I want to get to, though, is I'm not blaming Top Golf. I'm blaming, blaming this server because she was not good at her job. I've done the job. I know what it takes to do a good job. Everything that you guys are talking about is very accurate. She was not good at her job. I think when you mess up, it's just the best thing to do is just be honest. I've told my tables before. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this on the show before. But, like, hey, I forgot to ring your food in. I'm really sorry, and I will get it out to you as soon as possible. And they care, they Honestly, respect yeah, that people. way more than they do. Like, oh, the cooks, man. Yeah. I don't know. Because they know you're lying. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know. That or they're going to assume you're lying. She needs to get better. Yeah. What's your guys? Whoever your name is out there. <laughs> What's your guys' judgment? Quit the bullshit. <laughs> 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 we'll come back. <laughs> We're coming after you. I said I was going to get on. Jessica. I was going to get on Yelp and uh, tear a new one, but <laughs> Jessica L. I don't, I don't know. Well, from <laughs> Jessica the, L. From, from the way you des- from the way you described her, it didn't seem like she had her life together all no. that well. So let's. She, she, Let's just give a, her a break. This yeah. time. She, had, she like, had some train tracks she, on her. Own. She had like red lipstick, like weirdly on her <laughs> in her lips. teeth. Like, like she looked like she, <laughs> she was just shaking. She looked like a cartoon character. I'm not gonna lie, like a cartoon character that's like completely disheveled and can't like keep their life together. That's what she looked like. <laughs> you just said your mom wasn't like lipstick here, <laughs> eyeshadow here. Instead, it was like <laughs> <laughs> I, I just pictured it like it's her last day and she's just like fucking well, don't care anymore. Yeah. That I'm might have been it. That's a thing too. I hate when you're working with somebody and it's their last day and like you're closing with them or something and they just don't give a shit. I'm like, dude, can you just like for the for the sake of me, pull it together just a little bit so we can get through the shift? Because I, I get it, man. I get it. You're on your way out. You've been under the Scotty's reign for a few years yeah. and you're just ready to get the fuck out of here. But Take please, shots. But please start running your food. Please stop yeah. neglecting your table. So yeah. they're like, "Hey, hey, sir, can you get our uh, server over here?" Yeah, it's I like that. it's like the um, oh, he's su- in the back playing euchre on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like super bad where he like comes up to him and he's like, "You're just drilling holes." Yeah, it's summer. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who else has got a judgment day? Uh, uh, yeah. So I got one. Um. I see this all the time at the gym. I, I work at the YMCA, so a lot of older men will be in the locker room. I heard it's uh, fun to stay there. Uh, at the YMCA? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Not this one. I'm sure some people listening will relate. When you're in a locker room old and guys, I don't shower. Old in the guys room. with their dicks out, dude. <laughs> wrinkly <okay>. balls. <laughs> so there's certain scenarios where I'll, like, I'll, actually, I'll shower in the locker room if I got to go somewhere and I want to be clean after the workout, whatever. But. This uh, older generation, they <laughs> Baby treat the fucking locker room like it's the 1940s still. <laughs> Walking around like, butt ass naked. Yeah, like a glass of whiskey. And the nastiest <laughs> thing, and this is where I get that whatever, like yeah, walking around butt ass naked, you're comfortable with your with your dick flopping out. More power to you. I don't really care about that. So Did your boy see the paper today? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, you know, don't look at it. The thing that just f- makes me f- want to throw up is... When you see these fuckers walk from the shower into the stall or to the urinal barefoot, <laughs> oh, yeah. taking a piss or sitting there taking a shit barefoot, I'm like, dude, there's fucking piss all over the floor. You're gonna get athletes. Bro. Like, what's wrong with you? And then they and then they proceed to leap. They they get done taking their piss or taking their shit with their bare ass foot on the pissy ground. They go into the locker room, walk on the carpet. 
disgusting. <laughs> and then they go fucking put their, they struggle to put their socks on, their damp ass piss feet. <laughs> and they're like, yep, time to go home, put their shoe on. And I'm like, dude, that's uh, fucking gross. Yeah. <laughs> that's true, dude. So I gross. Thought, I think, and it happens all the time. I, I think see it all the time. It's old just, people oh. are just like, I made it this far. Like, God. Well, what's damn. funny is, is I've seen the, disgusting. At, the, at the LA Fitness that I go to, I saw the exact opposite of that. It was a Asian gentleman and he had flip flops, but he had Smart paint, man. He had Paper towels, like, <laughs> uh, like under his feet, but oh, on top of the flip flop, so that hey, <laughs> so that he better than barefoot on <laughs> yeah. his floor. And so he's like, I was just blown away. I was like, dude, like how like how serious are you about not touching the floor? Because because you know see, what? I'm bad. Like I've I've done the move of like walking around barefoot too much. Like maybe that's an Asian thing. That's why these white men won't do it because I just, they, they don't want to appropriate that guy's culture. <laughs> I just picture like, this. God damn it, I don't want to do this. I just I picture this old, old white guy coming home and opening the door like, honey, I'm home and I brought some piss from the gym with me. <laughs> For real, dude? I'm like, what are you going to do with those socks? Uh, you know, like sometimes I don't, sometimes I, I'll wear the sock, same socks, you know, a couple times before I wash them. I thought you were Judge gonna, me if you want, I but whatever. It's but better than walking on a piss floor. on a piss floor, put my socks on, I'm throwing those socks away. That's fucking gross. <laughs> yeah. You and don't the shoes, piss on your you, socks. You're driving all the way home with those piss socks Dirty in piss your socks. shoes. <laughs> shoes are too expensive. To I, be thought, I thought that, that, uh, that old people, buy, old people don't gym. buy expensive no, shoes. No, so, so he, he yeah, walked did, away to take a yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, I had to, so, okay, so real quick. That was fast. In the locker room, old ass men. It's always old ass men. Uh-huh. Getting out of the shower, barefoot, walking around butt ass naked. So barefoot, walking to the urinal or to the stall, barefoot, barefoot, barefoot on piss floor. Because gotcha. under a urinal, like it's right. just piss written right. uh, everywhere, and they're just chilling, like no big deal, like not even like tiptoeing it. They're just fucking. That's why old fe- people's feet look that way. Oh, it's all wrinkly. It's gout. It's the acid. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I didn't know gangrene was still around. Yeah, I definitely thought Agent, you or- were- Agent Orange on the. Uh, <laughs> It's actually from piss. I definitely right. thought you were bringing up the move where they do the the uh, Captain Morgan, where they put yeah, their foot up on right. and, like, and, and they're talking to you that way. See, I was, that's funny. and they take their there's no rush on getting their fucking nope, underwear on either. Funny. They that's take so their funny. sweet ass time. They'll See, do that last. I, They'll put their hat on. They'll put the sunglasses <laughs> on. Make sure their phone's charged. <laughs> their uh, shirt on. And then I, put on their underwear. I thought your judgment was going to be old white dudes at the gym naked as shit. You know that's yeah. why I left. I was like, that's I wasn't expecting a. Part B to the story. <laughs> it's I'm, the feet I'm that glad. really bother me. <laughs> Ye have been judged. Yeah. Kevo, did you already go? I uh, no. My judgment is uh, this: this uh, French revolutionist. His name is Maximilian Robespierre. Mm-hmm. He uh, he he lived back in the day during the French Revolutionary War. And he was just a bad guy. He was known as starting the reign of terror. That's so, it. The, yeah, so we're judging. We're judging that we're judging, guy. We're judging old dude. And look at his face. <laughs> oh, nice. So, so he was the guy. And he was the one who started the reign of terror. Yeah. He looks kind of like right. a pussy. Yeah. yeah, he does. He does. I mean, with the wig and everything else. Yeah, terrible, terrible dude. So it's like you know, Jacques. Jacques. Yeah. And he could say whatever the right. fuck he thought you, or he exactly. make it up, exactly. and then <laughs> guillotine. <laughs> no, I didn't. Honestly, I didn't really have a judgment. So, this so, week. so, what was the what was the reign of terror? Or I whatever? have no idea. <laughs> wow. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, uh, well, t- really, time has I'm already gonna, judged him because he's dead. Yeah, Common he's folk dead. killing um, the um, royal um, noble people. Pretty much the gist of it. I'm not an expert he's on not a history, revolution. He's not a history major, but that's, but that's pretty much what I'm, it is. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the, 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 we don't know what the fuck we're talking about right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of getting that so, idea. I didn't, really, I didn't really have a judgment. I honestly, Maybe you just say that. Then. I, <laughs> I had more of a shout out. Uh, he he really else. just wanted to say his name. He went to the bathroom and was like, Max, bad people. Okay. <laughs> Maximilian Rose. Jack, uh, Jack O, uh, right. a stew. This guy looks like a D-bag. Let's go. <laughs> this fucking powder wig. Right. Yeah, he fucking he had uh, syphilis and his hair fell out. And he had to wear that wig. Probably right. got that wig at Pax. Yeah, fucking Pax. No, my shout out was really uh, uh, the. Have you guys seen the Karate Kid reboot? That's yeah. on no, YouTube. Is it good? Yeah, it actually looks phenomenal. phenomenal. Dude. Yeah, so I had I had to get I had to get the YouTube red for thirty days just so I could finish it because oh, yeah. they give you the first two episodes and then it's good. The to, other, I like that they painted the 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 the. the 
the bad guy and the the old one yeah. as a good guy in this one yeah. and he's kind of like <laughs> like since the fight his whole life fell apart and then, <laughs> and then the like other was like ruined and right. then the other guy's like a I, car salesman he's a, he's, yeah he's and a and car salesman since it's, 85 he's been a fucking <laughs> junkie dude it, it was like but really, he can still kick ass I <laughs> saw he's like still has all I saw those. that he's like did you beat up a bunch of teenagers in the parking lot and he's like no <laughs> It it was so awesome because there's a lot of like, there's a lot of cursing in this one, Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of like weed references and a lot of uh, different, you know, like a lot. It's a lot more adult humor, and it's just, it's just done really well. So that's a good one. That's definitely something we need to check out. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it for sure. Yeah, big shout out to uh, the dudes who. uh, Good judgment create created that Mm -hmm. decided you know what let's bring back johnny as a loser there's some things that should just be left alone that is one that i would agree that could be done right again right Right. Mm -hmm. definitely done right judgment for shane i've already done it twice i think i did did. he did too yep that's right you can go three why not fuck it i mean (laughs) how about them uh you know i don't know fuck let's go let's keep going (laughs) uh i don't got nothing so what's up next that's it really yeah i feel like we've kind of hit hit everything um (laughs) no really um i'm I'm done i'm like i'm i've I've expended my my energy you know what we should do instead of the uh patreon for the video Mm -hmm. we should do a patreon of like just the mics turned on for an hour before the show yeah yeah that would be fun pay one dollar and you can have that. I also wanted right. to you talk. It, you're going get, to get, get pissed. You're going to crawl under. I'm <laughs> bad. No, go ahead. You can. I got to take a piss, everybody. <laughs> I also wanted to talk about. That was, that was me during your judgment. I was like, God oh, damn it. All right, I'm out of here. Like, it's, it's, so I'm going to, you know, I'm getting ready to be done with school. And I'm oh, gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a, a little. I got it on here. I'm going to be, uh, you know having a little more free time than usual and I thought what better time to you know work on my you know physical self so I and and really the only reason I'm bringing this up is because I want people to hold me accountable so I weigh two hold on I know you're gonna say something about you don't do any exercise (laughs) uh, no I I was gonna say something about my man tits but uh. (laughs) those would go on the same uh, (laughs) this is a subcategory um, but yeah, so I, I weigh like 212 pounds, 210 pounds, something like that. And I, I want to get down to like 185. Mm. Uh, I know that seems like a lot, but you know, four years ago I weighed like 172, 173. So it's really not all that crazy. Um, and basically the only reason I'm bringing it is up, bringing it up is cause I want to, uh, have people hold me accountable. I'll, I'll hold you accountable. Because, and I don't want it to be like the not drinking in the month thing because we just stopped talking about it because right. we both, neither of us did it, but I want people to hold me accountable and you to bring it up during the show to make sure that I'm, cause that's the only way I'll do things if there's mm-hmm. stuff on the line, if oh, like, yeah. you know, and we might want to come up with something, you know, something that good happens if I do it, something bad happens if I don't, because that'll really drive me to, to, to actually do it. I feel like if they, I feel, and this doesn't have to be for the uh, the weight thing, but if there was anything that the negative would be that you had to cut your hair, like buzz it all off, would make me laugh uh, so hard uh, because that would be because you're working so hard to grow, to grow it out. out. Yeah, right so now. that would probably be a good, uh, yeah. Like, so we'll, we'll come up with something, but that, good for you. That works. We'll start that. We'll start with that, but uh, and, and that'll be for sure. You know the the punishment if I don't. Yeah. Um, but right now, just like I said, I just want to have a time frame of when you want to hit this. See, I don't want to do it too soon because then I'll have to cut my hair. <laughs> but <laughs> I do want to, um, you know, th- within a month or two, get I, I want to make like a drastic change because that's just the kind of guy I am. I don't do like that long, like six month like transformation. I'm either mm-hmm. like, you know, I'm going to literally just do a bunch of cardio and, and eat less food because that's and I may, may be unhealthy. But that's just how I, you know, learned to, to lose. Long, I feel like as long as you're not like starving yourself and you're actually yeah. getting the right nutrients. Yeah, I want to eat healthy things. So I am feeling good also. And this is only just to lose weight. It's also to feel better. And I'm, I'm going to start going to the gym more. And but yeah, yada, yada, yada. I legit that know that the only reason I'm fat is because I make very poor choices when it comes to food oh. and drink. Yeah. So I'm the same way. I'm the exact same way because um, <laughs> I go to the gym gym like three to five times a week but yeah can't do anything can't outwork a diet that's Gotta true change your diet. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm either gonna quit drinking alcohol altogether or i'm just gonna like heart you know barely do whatever drinks and vodka does <laughs> and um 
<laughs> oh, saw it. Um, but anyways, that's basically it. I just want to be held accountable, and you guys to give me a bunch of shit if I don't do it. Yeah, and then the the show. I'm also working on my little sister. Apparently, has like a really badass camera, so I'm gonna have her come in and maybe do some pictures while we're doing the podcast, so that we can post some more stuff on our social media. Sounds on the, good. On the Facebook, on the Instagram, on the uh, Twitter. I've kind of like uh, ignored Twitter lately, so I apologize if there are people that follow us and. I haven't really been posting on there too much, but yeah, I feel like it's uh, everything. Everybody that follows us on there is um, just another podcast. So don't, don't you really, have really uh, stand up comedy coming up? Oh yeah, oh, Wednesday. Nice. It's, it's gonna be Wait, this it's Wednesday. Gonna, yeah, it's gonna be awful. It's in Anderson. The show starts at Where eight o'clock. Anderson? In Anderson, Indiana. It's is up north. north? Yep. What's the brewery called? It is Kettle Top Brew House. Okay, and, and the- um, it's the it's Kyle Buck. It's the Wednesday night mic. Uh, man, I'm gonna have a busy week. I got a lot. Yeah. Of, a lot I'm of not attending that, and I want to. It's just uh, I have finals this week. Um, I got two more days of school left, and I really just want to, you know, take care of that. And then, yeah. And speaking of that, I start school the 14th. Yeah. So You're going back to school. Oh yeah, I'm gonna finish. I gotta finish this degree, man. Nice. I'm so close. Congrats. Yeah. So what close. do you have left? I have uh, 78 credit hours, um, and I need 120. So yeah, you got a like a year and a half. Yeah, or pretty something. close. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I'm also going to be taking the classes like one or two at a time until I'm done because I can't afford to. I couldn't go to school full time and work full time. I'm too much of a pussy. To That's do what that. do you do? Are you you're not a bio life anymore? Nope. Right? I am. Doing? I am. A, I am a manager of a occupational health clinic, and I'll leave it at that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Kills people. Yeah, Kills that's definitely people. what it is. <sighs> um, anybody want to throw a shout out of a good show that they're watching oh, yeah. or um, something? I already did Karate Kid. Karate Kid. Okay, we'll go with that. Mm. Cobra Kai, actually. Cobra Kai. Oh, sh- apple pie. I, are, are you a Westworld uh, guy? This is tough. No, uh, I'll no, go see, ahead. And, that's my. That's my. I'll problem. go ahead and tell mine if you guys. I watch are. old stuff. I don't watch like the new stuff that's on. How about the Jersey Shore remake? Is that back on yet? Yeah. I've been watching that. Uh, it's good. good. It's good. good. It's good. Are they all old? It's, it's, I, it's just. It's exactly what you imagine it's going to be. Now, it's is them. Uh, it's Sam them. Sam in it? Still? No, but Rad. no. And what's funny is they 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 bring a like a sex doll and like dress it up as Sam. Pauly D, like, all right, I'm See, getting, I'm getting, one. I'm getting way too into it. But th- this <laughs> season, they like, Pauly D is like the funniest one out of all of them, and I can't remember watching back in the day. Was he like, was he as like? He's always been the a funny big one. character, like where he was yeah. always funny. I think he was, he was always first, a very. I think first season he was like kind of like, he, you know, and then second season he was like it was all about second third. It was but the all thing about with but the thing with him is he's super neutral. He doesn't argue with yeah, anyone. He doesn't never, get in arguments, and like, to see him get mad right. is like very rare. Yeah, yeah, he's he was like the super smart ass one. Yeah, yeah and he's oh, like the, the comic relief for yeah, sure. Yeah, he definitely all he wants to do is have a good time. He brought that. He's the one who brought the sex doll, and he's like, I figured we needed Sammy and here. he's really doing the best out of all of them because he's a DJ and he he, to, he toured with like Britney Spears oh and, and that's the that's the other thing I wanted to say involved with that is everybody they, they're all getting ready to go on vacation and you're seeing everybody's house Polly D's house is like insane it's like sick like he's like got all of the coolest stuff that you could imagine like that money could buy because he and he, then you see everybody else and they're all doing well but like they just have a different a different look and yeah. like he's he's single he has a kid but he's single yeah. and he does whatever he wants to do I think he like, does a lot of um, pool parties in Vegas and yeah. like um, he just sells show, he did like tours too and does right. that stuff and he was with Britney Spears so I know he made a shit ton of money from yeah. that and I can't really think of what I think I know like the situation did like Dancing with the Stars and had a big drug problem no he did, and the situation had the drug problem and he didn't pay his taxes so yeah. that's, dude that, remember the Donald big, Trump roast when the situation got up there and it was just fucking crazy. like crickets, they, yeah, like crickets. Oh yeah, yeah. He was really yeah, bad at that. Terrible. Like there was no laughs, and he was just. I like, kept going joke after joke, and he was like waiting for the Can laughs. We just and talk about how you made me realize that Donald Trump did a roast, and he's our president. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, they were talking about that because that was the first time we ran in, in 2012. That's yeah, a, that's awesome. Crazy. Um, yeah, I think the the Jersey Shore thing's a good thing that I've been watching. A show that I. Uh, Re got into on Netflix or no, not Netflix. Hulu is Community. That's a good show. I do like that show a lot. It, it is it because you're going back to college? No, it was. Uh, I always have like I've said this on the podcast before. I ha- always have a show that is the show I fall asleep to, 
and I just pick something that has a lot of seasons that I, if I fall asleep while it's on and I miss something, I'm not that worried about it. The dark haired girl from the community, the one that's like a little goody, she yeah. is like so hot to me. She is, and she they make her better looking like as the as show it goes, goes on. on yeah. yeah, and that show just goes off the rails so many times. It does. Like, it's it's so, have you seen the paintball yeah. one where the whole episode is them having this giant paintball? They do it like three or four times too. Yeah, yeah, because it's like their season finale thing that they did. That's a good show though. If you haven't watched Community, go ahead and pop on. There I think the the one I'm watching right now um, that probably not a lot of people know about, but it's on HBO and it's called Barry, and it's about oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah it's about a guy he I can't think of what his name is off the top of my head, um, but he uh, is on Saturday Night Live, um, but anyways he plays a hitman, an ex marine who's a hitman and he basically um, like wants to be an actor but he's like can't get away from this hitman thing and it's like a mixture of him being a hitman trying to be an actor and it's like a comedy I heard of people so it's actually those. really really funny but he's the guy in like the, the the beginning of pineapple express where it's like in the 1940s and he's the one that smokes pot What's up? Bill, yeah, yeah. Bill, bill, bill heater bill heater yeah, yeah yeah so it's him and he's super funny and i don't think they could have picked a better person and it's it's hilarious. Yeah, I've been I'm definitely gonna to check it. that out. There's like these Armenian guys or something, and they're they're just it's just so funny. I don't know. There's a show I do want to check out. It's called Killing Eve. It's on BBC America. I have not. Oh, dude, it's like I guess it's five episodes in, but it has uh, Sandra O oh from mm. Grey's Anatomy fame. Oh, it's okay. essentially like a female Dexter. Oh, okay, oh, cool. But uh, apparently, it just mind fucks with you the entire like five episodes so far. So. Yeah. <clears throat> I can dig it. Um, man, I was going to say something. Oh, so the PTO Unlimited podcast also, I just thought of this because they had talked about a show, they, like documentaries they were watching. They were talking about Planet Earth. Do you, yeah. remember, do you remember watching Planet Earth? So it's funny that you say that because I watch that now with my daughter. My daughter loves it's it. It's amazing. It's one of the, it's just, it cr- I'm just like my daughter cool doesn't like ever. anything that's not cartoons. And t- so I turned it on one day and she's like, turn on the, the animal show. Like, and she the just lots swimming in the first. Yeah. Like, is that when it's trying man. to like he's trying to escape, isn't he? I saw no, the one with the just... lizards that like walk up on their feet, but there's snakes that come after them, and there's like hundreds of these snakes in this one lizard, and you just see all these snakes trying to get to this one that's, lizard. That's like one of the viral, like that video went viral. And he's on like, the internet. Ru- and he gets yeah. away because he gets away. And he, like, they like tangle him up for a minute, and then he chasing. still gets away. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. It's terrifying. Yeah. It's awesome. The the nature is a terrifying place. It's crazy for sure. Just outside of our um, our door out here. I was watching a, um, there's a group of three male ducks. It's hilarious. They're like a bunch of bros because they like follow around the female ducks. But like, it's literally, you'll see them to like chasing the female ducks. The female duck will disappear, but then you'll see them just swimming back and forth again. It's like, it's kind of like night at the Roxbury where they're like, <laughs> you know, yeah. doing that thing. Well, what's crazy is they, they finally had a group. I think it was like a couple of female ducks. And then there was like a goose that was like following them. Like not a Canadian goose, but like a, just a white goose. Yeah. And, um, the white goose snuck up on one of the uh, female ducks, grabbed it by its neck, and was like to holding it underwater. Yeah, like, I remember trying you telling to murder, me this. Trying yeah. to murder this duck, and the three like bro ducks like go like swimming over there, and they're like biting it, and it's hilarious because they saved the they saved the chick duck, and it was just I was like, this is like shows you how brutal nature is because there's nothing I could do because even that, when it comes to ducks, there's still some like savagery. They're just gonna like murder each other because yeah. so they don't do you like think each those, other. You think those mallards got laid? Oh yeah, <laughs> they definitely yeah. did, dude. Have you guys uh, heard of this guy named uh, Coyote Coyote Peterson? No. He's He's a YouTube guy, kind of think of like Steve Irwin yes. type of uh, YouTuber. And uh, anyway, his whole gimmick is like he goes around and he gets stung by the worst Ugh. creatures. It, it is hilarious, Sounds awful. dude. It is hilarious. <laughs> like, amazing. You got to check it out. But I've always thought it's been crazy when people are like immune to snake bites, meaning that they've been bitten by snakes so many times. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of fucked That's up. That's fucking weird. Like, uh, no. Maybe we're, we're not gonna, do we're, that. We're going to have know. to watch this. He, like, I went down a wormhole and I was stuck watching his videos for That's like YouTube, an hour and YouTube half. will do that to you. And uh, final thing that I want to shout out there that I think people should watch are those videos where people are telling each other dad jokes and they're like not laughing. Like, they get a point. Oh, they they get to, a point yeah, yeah, yeah. if so they make the other person yeah. laugh. Definitely check that out because I laugh my ass off at that one. That's a good one. And the um, Zoomies guy. <laughs> and the, the Zoomies, Zoomies guy. guy. I, that's my next wormhole right there. Actually. What's the uh, What's the song that we want to listen to on the way out today? I what's, don't know. What's man. upbeat in summertime? Uh, how about Three Eleven and Amber? You uh, and the You and the every song sounds like Sublime. Uh, what's a What's a What's a What's a, 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 a Summer Summer Jam? Um, 
I don't know. I guess I don't uh, know. A good summer jam? Yeah. Walk uh, off the earth. You could do some uh, Lay Me Down by... Uh, Sublime. But <laughs> same. <laughs> How, uh, Dirty heads. Dirty heads. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't mess with them. I know. Man. I'm I'm thinking of everything that can include be included on a 311 playlist. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna uh, do pepper, some, if we're, uh, stone love. I was gonna say if we're gonna do one of those I love, I love type pepper. songs, why don't you just pepper. do summertime? I, was, I grew up with them actually. Kona. Kona Story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, My brother right. actually went to school with those guys. That's awesome. Yeah. We could talk about this all day. <laughs> I'm trying to like keep um, it. <laughs> my my girlfriend's best friend dated uh, Rome from Sublime and Rome. Yeah, I got high with them. <laughs> nice. I got to see them at uh, the Bluebird in Bloomington. Yeah, I was at that show. Were you? Yeah, I saw yeah. Fitz in the yeah. tantrum there. Yeah, yeah. everybody has. You've seen. Just, <laughs> I've got I've got my summer jam. I'm just gonna pick it because sure. it's completely different than everything that you guys cool. said. Let's see though. There's an ad, so we'll we'll get it through here. Uh, okay. Can you just pause the podcast and have Can it? we just play Warren G and Regulate? <laughs> banger. <laughs> I love this song. It's a summer banger. Oh, what happened? 